Hello, 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 my friends. I'm in a good mood. It's the weekend, and I thought I would fill you in and give you a parenting update on how I've been doing as a single father of three and a half kids. Well, I'd say 4.25 maybe. My son, my two daughters, my mom, and my dog. <laughs> Something happened this week that got me thinking a lot about the kind of parent that I am. And I don't know if this is a confession or if it's blatantly obvious, but I'm a really conservative dad. I'm liberal and accepting and encouraging and nourishing, but I'm a disciplinarian. I believe in structure. I believe in consequences. And I believe in a lot of old fashioned things. This week, my son was invited to a sleepover. He's five years old. Maybe I'm being overly protective, but I said no. Like, I don't care who you are. Unless you're my sister, I'm not gonna let my son sleep at your house. I don't want to say who invited my son, whether it be a really good friend of mine's with kids or a classmate or a neighbor, but somebody did. And I just, I instantly felt uncomfortable. Something inside of me said, no, you know, you just never know something could happen with an adult, with another child. He could hurt himself. I don't know. I just don't want to have any guilt. Plus also, I mean, very recently we, found out, read, heard the sad story of Bodie Miller's almost two-year-old child passing. And we don't know the details of it, but um, it could be interpreted or inferred that the little girl was at a birthday party and the parents weren't there. I don't know. I, I would rather err on the side of caution than end up regretting it. And that's not, is that even being conservative or is that just being a good parent? I don't know. I'm not saying that people who do do that are bad parents. Like, I don't know. I just, maybe down the road, but I just think five is too young, right? If you're 15, 14, I'm not even sure if I would though. But at least, you know, a 13 or 14 or 15 year old who can have a conversation, you know, if something inappropriate happens, scream, leave right away, and then tell me right away. Anywho, that happened. But it got me thinking, and you know, I embrace being a conservative parent. I embrace being old fashioned. I've in the past spoken out about a few things that people have been critical of me for. You know, I say and I do not allow my daughters to wear bikinis. My house, my rules. You know, I want to train my daughters to be ladylike. You know, whatever that means to me. Like, I want my daughters to aspire to be strong business women, you know, um, like an Anna Wintour or an Oprah Winfrey. There's nothing wrong with wearing bikinis. That's not, and clearly when they're adults, if they wear them, cool. But I don't know. I think that children are like dogs. You gotta train them. You gotta condition them. You gotta teach them. Same reason why I won't let my daughters wear Daisy Dukes or short shorts. Ain't happening. It ain't happening now. It ain't happening until they're out of my house. Yeah, I'm a control freak. I get it. But it's served me a lot in life. It's helped me get to where I am. And yeah. I'm probably not gonna budge on that. Like if my daughters cry, I really wanna wear a bikini. I'm like, just wait a few more years. Patience, it's a virtue, you gotta work on it. You gotta learn the importance of patience. Um, yeah, 
What else? Uh, what else? It's been a fun week. It's been a great week for me, though, because this past week, my son didn't have school. He ended school. So thankfully, I didn't have to do that long ass commute anymore. I was able to be so much more productive and I'm so looking forward to Vegas. If you don't know, I announced it a couple weeks ago now. I am going to be the special celebrity host at Chippendales from July 26th through Labor Day Sunday. I'm so looking forward to Vegas because I'm not going to have that school run for him. I'm not going to have to take my daughter to school either. And I'm just going to have less distractions, like no interviews, no musical performances, no meetings, none of that stuff. Just the show. I mean, there'll be some promo that I'll do probably the first week or two. Uh, but I'm just so excited to have that much more time in my life. Oh, it's it's not going to feel like work. So yeah, this week I didn't have to take my son to school and that was good. Grandma really stepped up to the stepped up to the plate and helped him a lot. Uh, took him with her out and about a lot this week. So thank you, Grandma. Yeah, and my son, what else is new with my son? Loving his books. He's, it's so wild. He has really become clingy recently. And I love it. I love it. He's um, wanting more of my attention. So I give it to him. Like holding him, carrying him like a baby, jokingly. Um, yeah. It's important to listen to your kids and what they want and what they need in the moment. And it changes. You know, he wasn't jealous of his little sister Maite there before, but now it seems like he is. Mia. Uh, it's a struggle. I made a whole video about the terrible threes, three-nager. Three -nage, three it's not that much better. Nope. There's been a lot of timeouts this week. <laughs> I took away her present that I gave her this week. But I think it's just also being patient myself and her inability to communicate a lot of it is. But it has been wonderful, you know, because I have all that extra time from not having to take my son to school, just taking Mia there together in the mornings they were all all week long and mom is not around and grandma's the one that spoils them like i don't let my kids watch tv if i do it's maybe once every eight or nine days with me and then only spanish language stuff but my grand grandma will show up randomly and just like hand them an ipad and let them watch cartoons on youtube but because grandma's not around early in the morning just dad i just let them be and let them play. And it's been so beautiful to watch them play together. And I feel like their bond is growing even more, even though we still have sharing issues on both of their parts. And I ain't gonna front, they get into fights nearly every, day, every damn day. <laughs> it happens, they're kids. And also Mia's regressed with her eating. It's been such a struggle this week. And like, she wants to be fed and she used to not tolerate being fed. She used to love eating on her own. Now Mia wants to be fed. Ah, it's okay. It's all good. Thankfully, Maite continues to be my easiest, happiest, chillest, sweetest. No, not sweetest. They're all sweet. <laughs> my easiest baby. You know, I, I made her video on Wednesday. You can check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, and the, 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 the two older ones are playing with the baby more as well. Though I've got to be like a hawk on Mia because sometimes she might squeeze her too hard. Might there's not a doll. Ugh. Been taking up my fitness a notch, several notches, changing some things around like eating, ending eating earlier, trying to get in even better shape. 
because I want to be in fighting form for Chippendales, even though I'm not going to be taking my, I mean, I might take my shirt off for a number in a humorous way, but I, you know, I still just want to be the best version of me. And yeah, a lot of uh, difficult situations going on behind the scenes and tough business things that I'm dealing with opportunities that are making me want to pull my hair out that may or may not happen hopefully they will and some sad things going on with friends of mine cancer and other people in my life <sighs> thankful for my health thankful for you truly I'm working so hard on YouTube and it's nice to feel that you appreciate it and you watch it and you laugh and you think and you connect with another human being that's me. Like, I really feel this connection to you and I celebrate you and I ask of you to please follow me on Instagram if you're not doing that yet, The Perez Hilton and also Perez Hilton. Follow my main channel if you're not doing that. Hit the like button on this video, leave a comment, share. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, hit the follow button. I, leave, I make videos every single day. Mwah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.